fried beer. There's a lot of fried things. Too many fried things. <laughs> Limit Especially the at the State Fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, if you're heading out there this weekend, uh, it looks great. It's going to be sunny in Dallas and anywhere across the state. And here in the city, we're looking at a beautiful forecast. It's going to get hotter, but still not as hot as this time last week. You know, temperatures in, you know, early, middle September time, we've been trending in the middle to upper 90s this weekend. Thanks to the front earlier this week, we're going to trend in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So overall, a great looking weekend is up ahead. Right now we're starting off in the 60s, 63 at the airport, clear skies, 70 at the Naval Air Station, Newport running at 60. So this number will trend upward in the next couple days. For uh, reference, the dew point is a measure of moisture in the air. So whenever that temperature, the dew point temperature is near 70 to 75, that's when it's very humid. So at the moment, it's at 60, so it feels great outside. Speaking of great, 58 in Alice feels nice over there. One degree better in Beeville, 61 in Mathis, pair of fives in Falfurious, lower 70s near the coast. Here are the wind speeds. Still coming in from the northeast in some spots, but notice they're turning from the east and southeast. And whenever you get winds from the Gulf, that transports moisture, humidity, and that'll be responsible for our warming trend later on this weekend. Not a huge warming trend, but one degree warmer every day through Sunday. 90 on Sunday, partly cloudy, more moisture, more humidity, mostly sunny with just a few clouds overhead. Let's chat about the radar. It is uh, absent of any rain. Matter of fact, if you go anywhere north into Dallas, for example, or Houston or East Texas, it's clear and some fog is developing along I-35. But out west, out near El Paso, uh, West Texas, New Mexico and Arizona, there is a weak disturbance, which you can see it's not very strong. And I have, you know, radar superimposed on the upper level winds. And this is not a lot of rain, but it will slowly strengthen into something into at least an upper level disturbance by Monday and Tuesday and watch the clock Monday night, Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. At that point, we'll see a few isolated sea breeze showers starting on Tuesday, scattered showers on Wednesday and Thursday, and then it looks like the rain chance does slowly back off in a Friday and next weekend. Now on that map, you saw a lot of green. That is just a chance at rain. We're not going to see soaking widespread rain, but there will be rain around between Monday and Thursday of next week. In the meantime, through your weekend, looks great. No rain chances, but it looks like Tuesday and Wednesday will offer up scattered showers, which could total upwards of about an inch to maybe two inches of rain in some localized spots. Uh, the tropics rose out there, not a threat. Sam and three additional areas of interest. Sam is now a category one hurricane. Winds are at 75 miles an hour and gusts higher than that, moving west at 15. And Sam will enter a more conducive environment, which means it'll strengthen from a one to a two to a three to a major hurricane later on this weekend into early next week. If that were to happen, we have three major hurricanes so far for the year. Sam would make it the fourth major hurricane. And out of 18 named storms so far this year, eight have made U.S. landfalls. Seven day forecast, lower 90s through Monday. Storm and rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with highs back in the lower 90s. John Thomas. Ryan, thank you.